address and check the description box below for tabs and backing tracks on my website, information about the sound tools I'm using, and links to other goodies on my Patreon page. Let's talk about what we're doing today. I'm not actually going to show you that opening jam, which was Bob Dylan's Meet Me in the Morning. Uh, that's going to be on the tab, of course. Um, but what I wanted to do today was give you a fearless, comforting overview of open D tuning. So here we are in open D tuning, D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. And OK, so first thing you want to do when you're in an open tuning, and they all actually kind of work the same, is find where your 1, 4, and 5 chords are. There's obviously one. The most common way to get your 4 chord is this guy right here. This is just coming down 2 on my A string. I'm going to call these by their original names. 1 on my G string. That's not a pure 4 chord, really. That's a G over D. But don't worry about it. It sure sounds nice. And yeah, this is all going to be on the tab too. If you wanted a, a, a full-on four chord, you'd actually get one more finger. You'd get the uh, ring finger on the two of the B there. And that gives you the, uh, yeah, it doesn't make it a sus two anymore, an add nine. Five chord, you can just move that chord two frets higher to have four, zero, three, two. So if I wanted to do a 1-4-1-5 one, one, progression, which is really a, that's Brown Eyed Girl, let's give it the, what, the pattern I call the ubiquitous strum pattern. Here's a 5. Which, you know, this may or may not be what you want as your 5 chord because it still has a... those Ds in it. If you wanted a more proper 5 chord, you'd actually think about A, but then you'd have to go across like this. So you'd have zero, two, three, four. Now the drag with this form, oh, he's actually in tune today. Sometimes it's hard to get the intonation right on that chord. So let's do that same progression. One, four, one, five. <laughs> Brown eyed girl. Kind of nice. Now uh, that you found your one, four, and five, of course, you know, you can, we're not going to talk about slide with this, but you know, yeah, I mean, open tuning is, of course, great for slide. <laughs> I could do that today though we're not doing open tuning and slide i guess that's a teaser of course finger picking is a good thing you can do let's do that same one four one five i'm going to use the first like floatier voicings with standard travis picking Sure is nice. These Dan Electros, by the way, great cheap guitars. They sound a lot like an acoustic in a weird way. I do have some analog delay and my Strymon Deco on. And reverb. <laughs> I mean, if you want to think about uh, great, 
There's a lot of great songs in open D tuning. The entirety of, or most of Bob Dylan's Blood on the Tracks is open D tuning with a capo and mostly at two. There's some great Nick Drake songs in open D tuning, which I don't want to distract myself too much by talking about those. The next thing that I would recommend to do in open D tuning would be to find where your blues scales and your, um, your pentatonic, yeah, your pentatonic minor and your pentatonic major. So let's find those. Uh, yeah, let's stay in neck pickup. There's the first octave. O oh, three five. O oh, three. You could do a five there, but let's just go open. And then the second octave. O oh, three one. O oh, three. Open. That's the weird thing in this tuning is this F sharp string. Shark string, uh, you, you don't you you'll get yourself in trouble if you so you have to kind of really think that that one stays down. Now exercise. Now I'm really giving away my secrets here. Great way to practice this. Yeah, run scales, but then challenge yourself to do one bar of strumming, one bar of filling. how simple I'm doing fills. That's like if you take lessons with me, you're like, yeah, I know Eric's told me to do that. That's because that's how I, I practice things. Now, the next thing you want to do is find your major pentatonic. My patrons know about this because I, I talk about this in some of my VIP Patreon live events. Subscribe. I don't, don't, don't. Give me money. Well, give me money if you want, but I'm not going to ask. Um, I always feel weird asking for money. So, major pentatonic, 024. 020. My mother raised me to be fiercely stubbornly independent and hardworking. So yeah, it feels weird for me to, to be like, hey man, like, why don't you hook me up on Patreon, bro? I'm like, no man, you must work for every cent, which I do. Anyway, 024 to 020. Now here's another, that F sharp string messes us up again because you could go 020, but that's Kind of phrase out weird, so you end up going O two four. Pretend he doesn't exist. Jump to the A or well the B string O two O. I catch Ry Cooter doing this, like well, my slide heroes. He'll do like a slide lick. He'll just pretend that string's not there. Um, and yeah, so same thing. Let's give ourselves a different strum pattern. I'll pretend that Neil Young is warming up with this. So we do one bar of a Neil Young groove. Right there's Neil. And then I'm going to do simple little. That's really what I want to encourage you to do, because, I mean, this is my favorite open tuning. Uh, there's a lot more I can do with it, but I'm just trying to give y'all a primer. Hey, I said y'all. Look at me. I'm in North Carolina, y'all. I'm so not Southern. I'm such a New York kid. Um, I grew up in Long Island and New Jersey, yet I live in North Carolina. I think I'm what they call a carpetbagger down here. Anyway, uh, y'all. All right, I'll stop. Um, yeah, the, the thing I was trying to get across was, was to not be afraid of alternate tunings and to kind of give you uh, a way to start exploring them. Find your one, four, five chords, find your um, major pentatonic and minor pentatonic and do little fills back and forth. You, 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 like that's a great way to get comfortable in this new environment of swampiness. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. All right, I'll leave it at that for today. See ya.